hello everyone in this session we will compare compare the polar plants so previously we discussed so once again we recollect all those polar plants in the first the first polar plant we are consider gh of s equal to 1 by s plus 1 that means it has only one pole that time the plot will be like this the plot is it has the real and imaginary part is there and this will be starting from here and the ending from here it's like this so this is the polar plot direction polar plot is this model and we have the second plot second plot is again one finite pole is added to the first plot that means 1 by s plus 1 1 by s plus 2 then how the polar plot is valid changed the polar plot is like this so it's starting from here and it touch this point and next it will be end this point here the direction is like this direction is like this so starting from here and ending from the here so what is the next plot we discuss the next plot next plot is so if we are adding a pole a pole a, a zero pole i mean so a pole at the origin to this transfer function then the change is like this 1 by s into s plus 1 then what happened the pole is the plot is like this the plot is here this is starting from here and the ending from the like this starting from here and ending is like this this is starting and this is the ending starting point and the ending point for this if we are again adding a pole to this then what happen so this is the transfer function and we are again adding a another finite pole s plus 1 into s plus 2 then the pole is added automatically the ending direction will be changed so that is like this so that is the like this how it's starting from here this is starting from here and ending with the direction of this type this like this so if you observe here for this pole ending is at this region only so if you are again adding one pole if you are again adding the one pole then the ending direction will be the next 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 after minus 90 degrees next after minus 90 degrees understand so if the finite pole is added so a, only one pole is there it is in like this if the finite pole is added then it is like this if finite zero is added sorry it is zero and the pole is added starting from here and ending from here for the same for the same open loop transfer function if you are adding again one pole the plot is like this the plot is like this okay so we will give some conclusion here so i will give some conclusion we will write some conclusion here the conclusion is what is the conclusion here when a pole at origin added every time when a pole at origin is added it is added it shifts total plot by minus 90 degrees it shifts total plot by minus 90 degrees in clockwise direction minus 90 degrees in clockwise direction okay it shift to minus 90 degrees in clockwise direction okay so we will we will give the another another model so so once again look at the plot here that plot is g h of s equal to once again s into s plus 1 so for this what is the plot so here the plot is like this 
it's starting from omega equal 0 and it will ending at omega equal infinite like this so it's starting from omega equal 0 and ending at omega equal infinite like this okay if another pole is added for example if we are adding another pole another pole at 0 then what happen if the another pole at 0 is added then 1 by s square into s plus 1 then the pole is like this then the pole is like this it is starting from here and ending it here yes that's why the pole is like this so ending it like this starting from here ending it like this here starting at minus 90 if one pole is available here if there are two poles then it will become starting direction at minus 180 and ending direction it will be minus 2 tau no, minus 270 ending direction will be minus 270 if the another plot is added if for example if the another is added for this then what happened g h of s if another pole at 0 is added then 1 by s cube into s plus 1 will become like this so it's starting at minus 270 it's starting at minus 270 and ending at the 0 like this starting at minus 270 ending starting at minus 270 and ending with the direction of the minus 360 or the 0 okay like this so it will be flow like this it will be flow like this yeah so you can you can observe here if s power 0 is there so i will write the another thing here gh of s equal to 1 by s plus 1 is there only we have only 1 by s plus 1 is there if this is for s cube this is for s square this is for s power s power 1 if it is for the s power 0 if it is for the s power 0 then what happened here if it is for s power 0 it is starting from here it is starting from we have some angle and we have some angle ending with like this so ending with like this okay so this is the model ending with like this so you should observe here whenever s power 0 is there then in this region it has s power 1 is there it will be shifted but we have a infinite pole it is again s square is there it will shifted again up and it will be follows like this if s s power 3 is there again it shifted so by adding the pole at 0 it will be continuously increasing it will be continuously increasing okay so these are the different different things okay these are the you should have a knowledge on this how it varies it shows the transfer function it will give the polar plots it will give the polar plots once again we will recollect all these things so first look at the first plot the first plot it is 1 by s plus 1 that's why pole is like this if one pole is added then automatically the ending will be entering into the minus 180 region because phase will become minus 180 here for the same thing if you are if you add the another pole then it will become like this if you add the another pole then it will become like this continuously increasing for the same system if you are adding the pole at 0 at s equal 0 then this become it start from minus 180 it start from somewhere minus 180 and end with minus 180 also starting from minus 180 and end with the minus 180 also okay what is the starting angle starting direction is minus 180 starting phase is minus 180 and the ending phase is minus 5 by 2 ending phase is minus 180 the starting phase is minus 5 by 2 ending phase is minus 180 if the another pole is added then starting is like this the ending is like this next so by that whenever we are adding a one pole means at origin it shifts the total plot by minus 90 degrees okay so this is for if you are adding a finite pole what about this 
if we are adding polet origin then what happen if you are adding the polet origin for s power 0 it's look like this for s power 1 then it shifts it will be end it here starting from the minus 90 and end with the minus 180 and third starting is minus 180 and end with the minus 270 here starting is minus 270 and end with the minus 360 or 0 degrees okay these are the different different polar plots the variation of the polar plots so you have to observe these difference in the different different polar plots okay this is very much useful to understand the polar plot okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you